When you went back and watched game film of, of the scrimmage, anything stand out that maybe you didn't notice live? Well, I, you know, when I went back and watched uh, the scrimmage, I watched it Sunday evening at the house, and then we watched it again as a staff on Monday, and then I watched it again on Tuesday. Uh, you know, I thought it was a little bit better day for the offense running the ball uh, than I probably gave them credit for after the scrimmage. Still didn't finish drives and the turnovers, uh, you know, gave the defense the edge, but I thought we ran uh, the ball pretty well, blocked pretty well uh, up front. Again, we were very vanilla defensively, but I thought the run game did a nice job. Uh, you know, we were opportunistic defensively, creating a lot of turnovers, uh, played with some energy. Uh, we got to, you know, we got to close some running lanes down a little bit faster, and that's just our safeties getting involved in run support uh, a little sooner. And then we got we to do a better job of making plays in the perimeter, uh, space plays. We're probably our enemy uh, for the defense this past week. So we had a period of basically space plays today, and I thought they did a better better job today. But overall, it was a good effort. Uh, there was a lot of snaps, and some guys. I mean, we had some guys playing 80, 90 snaps because we're you know we're basically have one guy at certain positions. But uh, I thought the guys played hard. Now, that'll be our longest scrimmage of the year. Uh, or this spring, 100, I think it's 114 snaps. You know, this Sunday we'll do probably half uh, of that, or maybe a little bit less for the practice, and then a little bit of live period, and then the spring game will be very similar. We won't, you know, we'll probably total 114 snaps with the next two scrimmages. Mike, you talked about uh, that a couple guys got dinged up in the scrimmage: Warren Jackson, Cameron Butler, Furman. Are they out long term, or is it short term? Well, Warren, Warren Jackson. I, He's got a sprain on his ankle, and I think hopefully he'll be back by the end of this week. Uh, he looked pretty good to me walking out of the dressing room after after the scrimmage. It looked pretty good in the pit today, so I think it'll be <clears throat> a couple days. Hopefully, Keith Herbert got rolled up in a practice before the scrimmage, so he was already out. You know, the swans got to get down. Uh, and Max was out uh, from a from uh, a practice uh, with. Uh, a head related injury, so he'll be out until the doctors say. Cameron Butler. Cameron Butler got injured in a practice on an under throw, stopping the throw, and kind of tripped, uh, got tangled up with somebody's feet and sprained his ankle. They think it was a little bit like Warren, hopefully by the end of the week. Nothing nothing major. Okay. Uh, it's just swelling, getting down, and when they can be functional, and then when the trainer says they can go, they'll be out there. When they're not, uh, okay. other guys are, are going to have to step up and fill their shoes. But they're all guys that should be back before spring's over, hopefully. Uh, should, be, should be. I mean, I'm not a doctor or a trainer, and I don't make that decision. They tell me if they're in or they're out. If they're in, they practice. If they're out, they go to the pit. If they can't go to the pit, they stay in the training room. So, I mean, I don't I don't make those decisions. And just whoever's practicing, practicing. We meet every day in the staff report. They tell me who's in and who's out.